Hello, my name is Cesar Saavedra and I'm a Technical Marketing Manager at GitLab. In this short demo, I'm going to be covering GitLab Release 13.10 and specifically the Dora related uh, features introduced in this release. They are group level API support for deployment frequency and the second one is Dora 4 based uh, lead time for changes. But before we jump into the demo, I'd like to cover what these Dora metrics are. So Dora stands for DevOps Research and Assessment. It's a company created by Gene Kim and Nicole Forsgren. It's now owned by Alphabet Inc. They identify these uh, four metrics metrics, which measure the effectiveness of uh, an organization's development and delivery practices. They are industry standard, and they are a simple and yet powerful tool to help leaders and teams focus on measuring and improving what matters in relation to their software delivery and operational performance uh, within their organizations. There's one fifth metric, uh, availability, which is usually measured via SLAs. But the other four metrics are here. Uh, the first one is deployment frequency and lead time for changes and those are the ones that uh, i will be demoing and the last two are time to restore service and, and change failure rate to be able to uh, demo the first one uh, we need to have a group that contains one or more projects and then to demo the second one uh, we'll need a project uh, because this has to do with project level right here so let's start. I've created a group called uh, GL1310 CS Demos, and the group ID you can see here is 115.85260. If we go back to the group level API support, this applies to groups, and you can actually measure the deployment frequency of projects that are within the group. Right now, the group doesn't contain any projects, so the API call should return an empty string and there it is it returns an empty string so let's go ahead now and create a project inside this group let's just go ahead and click on template and we can just create a sample uh, node project there you go that's one project so now let's enable auto devops in this project this will start a pipeline that will deploy the application to production. Very good. The pipeline is now complete. So let's execute the API call again. And this time the group returns one deployment, which is the one that got, just got deployed. So we have one project within the group called my node. Let's add another project within this group and then deploy that second project and then check again we should have two for the deployment frequency as a return value of the api call so let's create another project and let's create it from template a java project call it my java And let's enable auto DevOps and select continue deployment to production. This will start a pipeline that will deploy the application to production. The pipeline for the Java application is finished. So now we have two deployments within this group. There is two applications, uh, one a node application and one is a Java application. And we already checked earlier that at the group level using the group API for Dora metrics for deployment frequency, we got one entry as a return value. So now if we rerun it, we should get two because we now have a second uh, Java deployment that has gone to production. There you go. Now the value says two for the deployment frequency for two deployments. Also, I would like to call your attention to this number right here. Let me make the window a little bigger. This number here is the group number right here of this group, 115.85260. Okay, very good. So now we've covered this feature right here, the group level API support for deployment frequency. Now let's move on to the next one, which is the Dora 4 base lead time for changes. So this feature works at the project level, not at the group level, and it works in conjunction with uh, merge requests. The MR will provide an indication of how long it takes for code to be committed and deployed to your production environment. So let's go to the Java project and create an MR to be able to exercise the API uh, for lead time for changes. But before we, we do that, let's try the API and it should return a null value. Yeah, it's returning null and notice that the um, number here that I'm using 
is the same as the project ID here that you can see uh, for my Java project. So let's go ahead and create a, an issue first. And we'll say uh, update uh, welcome message. I'll assign it to myself, create the issue, and then we'll go ahead and create an MR. And then we'll go ahead and open the application in the web IDE. And we'll make a minor change. Spring Java is here. And we also need to change it here. Very good. So let's commit. We'll commit to the branch. And this will launch a pipeline. Now that the pipeline is finished, I have actually waited a few minutes before I can go ahead and close the MR or merge the MR. So let's go to the MR again. And let's go ahead and mark it as ready. And let's merge it. This merge is going to go ahead and kick off another pipeline. And when the pipeline is finished, we can check the lead time for change for this Java project by executing the API one more time. And here, as you can see, uh, this number here is in seconds, just about 11 minutes. And that's the uh, lead time for changes for this specific project. This concludes the demo for these two features introduced in 13.10, the group level API support for deployment frequency and the Dora 4 based lead time for changes. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much. Until next time.